Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Mr. Hurricane and today I am very excited to be bringing you some gameplay from the Super Mega Baseball 2 Beta. I've been so excited for this game ever since I knew it was going to exist. I am a huge fan of the original Super Mega Baseball if you're not familiar with me. I did a long series on the first game that was around 165 or so episodes. And I played a number of seasons and won some championships, really enjoying the game, and I was hoping there would be a sequel, and here we are. The game has been announced to be coming out on May 1st. That is not very far from now, so you can definitely expect a lot of Super Mega Baseball 2 content here on the channel, as it's one of my most anticipated games of the entire year. So we're going to go through a couple games today and I'm also going to show off some of the customization and talk about what's new in Super Mega Baseball 2. Just so you know, this is of course the beta, not the final version, so there could be some bugs or something in the gameplay. The game is not final yet and all the features are not unlocked for us to use. Plus, they did give me a code to try out the beta, they did not pay me however to make this video. So let's play some baseball. Super Mega Baseball 2 has a new look as you can see with much more realistic player models and the stadiums also seem to be bigger in scale. The visuals are improved and I like the changes. Also the controls seem to be the exact same. I haven't played Super Mega Baseball in months, yet when I got back into this game it was a very natural transition getting back into it despite some changes. The camera is pulled back a little bit, and the pitching is the same. I like the pitching controls from the first game. The difference now is that every pitcher has a set arsenal of pitches, and you don't just get every single pitch for every single pitcher. So there's a lot more strategizing about how you're going to use certain pitchers and play to their strengths, and I welcome that change. As far as fielding goes, it might feel a little awkward to you from the beginning because you really have to follow the shadow and the speed at which the ball is moving, but the players will move for you. Once you know the direction you have to travel, you can help them out to make things easier and that's more important on higher ego difficulties, which if you're not familiar, ego is their difficulty scale. I believe it ranges from 1 through 99, and I played a lot of Super Mega Baseball between 80 and 90. Won a championship at 90 as well. So I'm playing at 60 here because I just wasn't sure how things would be for me in my first game in a long time, plus my first game overall on the beta. And I played a couple of three inning games here to keep things quick. So you can see the pace of play here, that's what I wanted to highlight, just every pitch in this at bat. And what I love about Super Mega Baseball, just one of the things, is how quickly games can be played. And usually a 9 inning game for me lasts between 20 and 30 minutes depending on how much action there is. That makes it really nice to go through multiple seasons or just a bunch of games in a row if you don't have a ton of time. You can still get a lot done and still play 9 inning games. The hitting may take some getting used to, especially like sliders or curveballs on the inside corner. That's where I always struggle. That wasn't even a slider, but that's just my biggest weakness is hitting the inside pitch. It'll take a little getting used to, but for me, the feeling was so familiar that getting myself back into the game overall was pretty easy. Now here, I thought I had a home run because when you hit a ball like that with that kind of velocity and arc in the first game, that's usually a home run. But now, the stadiums seem larger in scale, and some of these hits are going to stay in the ballpark, and I had to learn that on that first hit before I almost got doubled up. I end up stealing second here, and the controls for everything are so simple to me. Being able to steal with just one press of the D-pad is nice, and then we end up flying out to center. A couple long outs here, no runs in the first inning of play. And then in the second, here is a sharply hit line drive, and one improvement to gameplay this year that I liked a lot is the throwing. In Super Mega Baseball 1, when you were using that throw meter, it was really just focused on how hard you were going to throw it, so if you held it too long, you'd end up throwing a really weak ball. In this game, if you hold it too long, the accuracy becomes a problem, and I think defense is going to be a more important part of the game because you're going to see errors more often, I think, if you make mistakes. There, I probably could have made a diving play, but some of those take very quick reflexes. 
That will also depend on your player's fielding attribute to make those plays. Here's one of my favorite moments here of the video, a soft ground ball, we get the tag and the throw. The gameplay and the controls are smooth. Just like the first, they made a lot of changes here to the way the game looks and some things with gameplay, but it's got that same feeling of just tight controls and responsiveness, and I really appreciate that. What you just saw was Junior Young Senior flying out, and here on the saw teeth, they also have Junior Young Junior. So, a fun father-son combination here on the team as dad flies out and the son walks on to first base. We go to D.P. Turner, who is the second baseman. You see all the ratings there in the lower left-hand corner for quick access. And then Turner to deep left center. Goodbye. There are my first runs of the Super Mega Baseball 2 beta. I am really looking forward to starting a new series on this game. I'll definitely be doing Season Mode once again. Rosters are larger this time around, so I can make even more players for my team. The customization is so much deeper, so stick around for a few more minutes, and you're going to see what the customization allows you to do in this game. You can now play online head-to-head -head or co-op with up to four players, I believe. I saw one of their videos, they mentioned having dedicated servers for online, which is great news, especially for a game like baseball that's so timing focused. As far as the co-op goes, as I make a nice jumping catch, we have uh, the ability to go, obviously, 1v1 online and climb the ladder there in pennant race. They have co-op, so you can play season games with a friend online and you can team up and try to beat the computer. And you can do, I think, 2v2 games even. The new features and improvements to this game have me very excited for May 1st and the final version of the game that'll be coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Now, here I wanted to test the fielding. It's the beta, perfect time to do it. I wanted to see an inaccurate throw because you didn't really get those in Super Mega Baseball 1. So that's what happens if you're not careful. And I'd say, don't try to max out that throw meter unless it's absolutely necessary, like you're trying to save a run or it's just very critical. The risk needs to match the reward, and you can make a lot of mistakes there if you're just getting too aggressive. So I end up winning this three-inning game by a score of two to nothing with two of the new teams in the game that I wanted to show off, the Saw Teeth and the Nemesis. Then afterwards, you get the players of the game and all the performances along with your star points. That's kind of a high score feature in the game that I like for a game like this. And now let's go on to customization because this is something I'll have to get familiar with before I begin my actual series. You can customize your team, their logo, their appearance, their uniforms, the players. So what you can do, which is good for people like me who aren't very good at creating their own designs, is starting with the templates and you can edit stuff. So I took the spinners here and you can go into the pre-existing layers in the logo editor and I just changed it to the spiders very simply and you can change the colors and you can bring in new graphics and do whatever you want to do so that's all very cool as far as the player editor goes you now have a larger roster keep in mind and you can see everybody's stats here the stats you can't just change manually remember there was the coach system in Super Mega Baseball 1 I want to see what it's all about here in Super Mega Baseball 2 but as far as appearance out of thing, look at all these options. We have different kinds of cleats, wrist tape, wrist bands, tattoos are in the game, different batting stances, pitcher windups. So if you want, you can really customize your team. And you know I will be when I make my team full of existing players from other series I've done. The rosters now have 21 players after I think they had like 16 or 18 in Super Mega Baseball 1. I wanted to get into one more game here with the sirloins that is like the boss team here in super mega baseball they hit for power pretty much everyone in their lineup has massive power and can hit a bunch of home runs if you're not careful i know because i've lost some games to this team and i ended up putting this at 80 ego and i also faced a team that didn't have very good pitching so i kind of wanted the bigger challenge but i ended up facing a pitcher that wasn't that great we end up flying out here couldn't get enough power behind it and then hammer long ballo. He is the face of this sirloins team. And there's a rocket to third base off the glove and into the outfield. 
And that allows our lead runner to advance an extra base. We get runners at the corners for Filet Jones. And we're going to load up with the power swing here and unleash the power to right center. Goodbye. That's a home run. By the way, this was the only stadium available here in the beta. The background detail, very good. I was impressed with the stuff in the first game, but everything looks better now in Super Mega Baseball 2. I'm looking forward to what else there is to see. There's a base hit into center. And then we get Bobby Bash to right field. And that is going out of here. Home run, 5 nothing sirloins. With the right team against the right pitcher, you can put up a ton of runs. Here's Preston Adonimus. He wants to go out to center. He had a four home run game against me one time, by the way. Not very fun. And Damian Rush, who's a speedy power hitter. I tried doing a bunt here, and I'll have to work on that a little bit. But that gave us a pretty nice lead going into the bottom of the first inning. What else is new in this game? I know that the double switch is now a substitution option. Which is pretty important because they do kind of play by National League rules in this game where your pitcher will hit. So the double switch can help you out. But basically, if you have familiarity with the first game, you'll probably transition into this game quite well. For me, I was just impressed at how they were able to change some things and still retain my favorite aspects of this game. Just how smooth the gameplay was, how it played how fast everything was, that's all still the same. I've always said that Super Mega Baseball found that happy medium between arcade and simulation, and it blended the two together really well. I haven't played a ton of the beta yet, I'll definitely play some more, maybe bring out some more content before the first, as that's still a couple weeks out. But I'm really excited to have the games that count when the game is released. So I'll need some more suggestions of players that should be created on my team. I might bring some players back from my first Super Mega Baseball rosters, but I definitely want to get some new faces in there as well. With the customization you can do in your league, I want to find more ways to keep it fun, maybe add some players to opposing rosters or edit the teams overall. We're going to find some fun ways to do a series on this game. I really enjoyed the first game, and my first impressions of the beta are very positive. And I can't wait to go online and see if I'm actually somewhat decent at this game, because I played it a lot at a very high ego, but I'm sure I'll go online and find out that maybe I'm not as good as I think. I've just been playing the computer the entire time. Oh yeah, one more thing, there is a tournament mode in the game as well, so if you had some friends to play with, that could definitely be the perfect place to unleash tournament mode. But for me, I'll be playing mostly season, and then the online modes, of course. I want to hopefully go in there and rack up some victories and climb the leaderboards. Sounds like they're going to be doing, like, seasons, so the leaderboards will reset after a certain time. Again, this game comes out May 1st on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam, and it's going to be selling for $29.99. This game here is wrapping up. I built that nice lead, and then you see the CPU execute the double switch. If you're not familiar with that tactic, what it does essentially is you are substituting a position player in for the pitcher, and a pitcher in for a position player and then you can just change the defensive spots. So say you subbed in a third baseman at pitcher and then a new pitcher at third base, you can just then swap those two around, but that third baseman, because he was subbed in originally for the pitcher, he'll get that nine spot in the order. So you can kind of manipulate things like that, say if your nine spot is due up, but you don't want to have to bring in a guy to pinch hit for your pitcher and then bring him out to bring in a new pitcher. It doesn't make you do all those little steps, but that's in essence how the double switch works. I end up winning this game 9 to nothing. I'm not sure what ego I'll play on when the game releases. Maybe I'll start at like 85 and see how that goes and work myself up to 90 once again. But I'm looking forward to Super Mega Baseball 2, the full release. Again, this is just the beta, but it's a fun beta, that's for sure. 
So if you want to see more content here on the beta between now and release, let me know down below in the comment section. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave your feedback down below on what you think about Super Mega Baseball 2 and what you want to see from me in terms of content. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.